Hello, I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News update. A man is facing charges for impersonating a police officer. Authorities say he pulled out a gun and threatened to have a woman arrested. It happened in Rising Sun in Cecil County. Police say Adam Barnett of Elkton found two women arguing at a gas station on Telegraph Road Saturday night and he pretended to be an officer. He ordered one of the women to leave the property and showed off a holstered weapon. The victim, who we're not identifying, says she was scared for her life. Police found Barnett and arrested him. He later posted $10,000 bond and was released. Well, people across Maryland will soon have the option of texting 911. The new option starts Thursday. People who live in the state and those who are visiting can use the service. The change is meant to benefit everyone, especially those who are hearing and speech impaired. Anne Arundel County has come up with a plan for its election this fall. County Executive Stuart Pittman is encouraging people in the county to get started early when it comes to registering so that there's not a rush closer to the election. Once a voter is registered, that person can choose to mail in a ballot, vote early, or use a drop box or vote in person on Election Day. There will be seven early voting sites throughout the county, along with 29 drop boxes. I've been told by the state board that the, the 29 I have, we may be able to give you more, but we're not sure. And we have not heard from them yet. Voting by mail or using a drop box is the safest way to vote since you don't need to be near others to do it. There are fewer voting sites this year because of a lack of election judges. And the State Board of Elections held a virtual meeting Wednesday to discuss the plan to make sure your vote is counted. They are now planning to use a total of 270 ballot drop boxes statewide. The plan is to deploy half the week of September 29th. The rest will go up as the vendor delivers them. Each jurisdiction is also allowed to start counting votes on October 1st, but isn't allowed to release any of those results until after 8 on Election Day. Waking up to morning temperatures in the 60s, warming though into the 80s as we head into the afternoon. The good news, lots of sunshine in the forecast and another day of pleasant temperatures and low humidity. Daytime highs climb to 83 degrees here in the city of Baltimore, 84 in Columbia, 81 in Elkton and Cecil County. Seven day forecast shows clouds will build as we head towards Friday, but rain stays mainly to the south. As we head towards Saturday and Sunday, we have some decent chances of some showers drying out by Monday and daytime highs warming into the low 90s by the middle of next week. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, make sure you download the WMAR2 News app in your app store. You can watch our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.